Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. It is me. It is I. It is she. It is the, it is her. It is who. It is Rosie Rosette 2020. Pal, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm doing fine. But when I saw this video today, I'm putting on my makeup. And you know, I'm just like fingering through YouTube or whatever. I saw, okay, so I saw this video second. I'm going to do another video after this one about the other subject that I saw about the Libyans, no, the Africans that are escaping Libya on boats. But that's another video. I'm going to get right to it after this one. Now, this one. This young lady, I don't know if you can see it, Selena. Now, she has been missing, okay, in a city in Montana. All right. That's just Searchers have been looking for not afraid since New Year's Day. Radio check. Radio check. Selena not afraid disappeared from a rest stop on New Year's Day in Montana's Bighorn County. It's getting really cold. I want her home. Nine days later, and community-led search teams were still looking for the first clue that might lead them to her. So we know our mission for today. We're looking for. Any sign of Selena, anything out of the ordinary, you know the drill. You guys have been doing it, so. This is Beartooth. Beartooth? Yeah. How are you, buddy? We find our girl. Okay. Selena Not Afraid's case is an example of what Native women face. They are almost three times more likely to experience sexual violence compared to white women. And homicide is the fourth leading cause of death for those under 20. And the problems often continue even after death. According to a 2019 report, approximately half of all cases involving murdered indigenous women in Montana have been misclassified for causes like suicide, overdose, or exposure. Been on Bugsy, Teddy and his wife, and their baby Little Light, Mikey Plainbull, Garrett, our, our current active search right now, Hub Williamson. Bonnie Three Irons, 2017, we recovered her. Uh, the next one was Henny Scott. Um, last year, we recovered her. Cassara stopped at pretty places. Um, she was found, I believe, by a deputy in town in somebody's yard. And now our recent active search is Selena. In all the previous cases that I've been involved with, where the situation is like this here, it's 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 always been a recovery. It's never been a a happy ending. Where is Selena? Where is she? Where's my grandbaby? So this is really sad i didn't really know that this was going on in montana i i did know native americans okay. make up 6.7 percent of montana's population but account for 26 percent of missing person reports and while local officials claim that causes for these deaths and disappearances are varied from drug trafficking to domestic violence the one thing they all have in common is that they take place in a jurisdictional minefield Depending on where someone is reported missing or where a victim is found, it could fall to either state. This really needs to be addressed. Like these native women are in Bighorn County in Montana. They're disappearing. And the fact that they are Native American or indig indig indigenous people. It, it, it's not really being addressed. It's not really being addressed. And not only that, but the stories that I was hearing, and it's it's very similar to what black mothers have to tell their sons if they get stopped by the police. Only black mothers, or maybe even Latino um, mothers, you know, if you get stopped by the police, this is how you need to act. This is how you need to, you know, represent yourself. 
um, or respond or whatever. Don't say anything. Don't make any, you know, rash movements or whatever. Please do not have a gun in your car. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, be very polite or whatever. In this indigenous Native American society or community, you know, um, the mothers have to tell the daughters not if you get raped or molested, but when it happens, don't cry. Don't cry. What? Wait, wait, what? And I so often hear about how life is on these reservations. Like, okay, this is land that is um, occupied, that was given back to Native Americans. But the resources, the jobs, the educational level, their life, their, how do you say it, their, um, their lifestyles, it's not, and this is before the casinos, you know, that's when everyone really got rich, not everyone, you know, a few, but not enough, you know, and then the, 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 the piece of land that they put these people on, it's no, there's, I mean, in the middle of nowhere, you could see from the video, you know, it was literally out in the middle of nowhere in Montana. And now the crime rate, but also there's a lot of alcoholism. There's a lot of alcoholism on these reservations. And it, it, this is not how it's supposed to be. This is not how it's supposed to be. You take the land from these people, you kill them off, then you give them these harsh lands and then you have no type of protocol to protect them from themselves but also from predators like that area where selena was taken from it's a lot of drug trafficking um you know that i think highway i-98 or 90 or something like that but a lot of people are going to um <clears throat> denver or idaho but apparently that road leads to a lot of drugs and, you know, truckers or drug traffickers. I don't know whoever, but whoever it is, a lot of kid, women, Native American women are being killed. You saw the man said, OK, and, you know, this one was found in somebody's yard. Another one was found dead. Another one, Selena. And I don't know. Um, no, we didn't see it so far but her selena's body was found dead like i i knew that life on the reservations was not the best okay i think i've had conversations with a few native american indians who told me about life on a reservation but i didn't know that it was common for women if not most, all the women um, on these reservations were being molested, were being raped, you know, were being killed. And people were just, you know, looking the other way. Where I also heard that multiple families may live under the same roof and that some family members may be molesting or raping or whatever. And the daughters or the, you know, the girls are told or taught to look the other way. Don't cry. That's what I was saying when the daughter was, when the mother was telling the daughter, don't cry. And this one lady was saying, because I didn't play the whole video, that she had to look at her molester or rapist every day, every day. And she couldn't say anything. She didn't say anything. She couldn't say anything because that's, that was the way of life. And I think there was someone else, if not the same person who said that, um, I think she was 14, maybe this was the same person, that she got a job with some type of government agency or something, and she was told she had to go out to survey something with this man. Well, the man raped her, or molested her, and, you know, afterwards, he, I think he took her out to eat, and then they drove back, and, you know, that was that. She had to look at him. She had to look at him. Like, that's not something that you would want to do. But she was only 14.
routine. So maybe this is the way of life, but this is not the right way. And we as a people, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, oh, I gotta make another video about you. You need to change this immediately. Immediately, because there's no way that kids, Native American kids, any child, should think that that's the norm in America. It, actually, nowhere in the world, but I don't live all over the world, but definitely in America, in Bighorn, Montana, wherever, you guys need to take issue with this and correct it immediately. But there's so much to go on. But this is just, this is insane. Absolutely insane. And they're saying that they don't have enough uh, police you know, protection or considering where the body was found or where the incident happened. There's a lot of bureaucratic, you know, BS because, you know, it could be an Indian reservation or it could be a government um, property or a state. So, you know, they have to deal with, well, you know, where is it? But they also said that the Indians or, you know, the, the, the people who are in charge of the reservations gave the officers or the government or whatever the state they go ahead to go ahead and investigate it and take care of it as such but I don't know this is just a sad sad case and something really needs to be done about it okay thank you for watching